Verify is brought to you by Fairway Ford of Henderson, building trust one family at a time. Welcome back to the new show East Texas with the possibility of some storms this weekend and next week. Have you heard of something called thunder fever? Well, our verified team works to cut through the social media clutter you see and gives you just the facts. As for thunder fever, some online buzz says during a thunderstorm in the spring and summer, asthma sufferers should stay indoors because of the phenomena. Well, it's a combination of thunderstorms and a high pollen count. So is this a real thing you need to worry about? Our Verify team contacted an allergy expert at the U.S. Army Centralized Allergen Extract Lab, and she says pollen can cause some people who have asthma to wheeze, making it hard to breathe. And when a thunderstorm hits, massive amounts of small pollen particles are whipped into the air, and that can cause an asthma attack. We then spoke to a doctor who specializes in allergies about pollen grains. They can be brought into the lungs much deeper than in normal situation and in large quantities. So pollen or mold allergic patients can start to wheeze and have severe asthma worsening because of that huge load of allergen going down into their lungs. So we verified that yes, thunder fever or thunderstorm related asthma attacks are real, but our experts say it's not that common. If you have something you'd like us to verify, email us or hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. Use the hashtag CBS19Verify.